All right, back here with another, with uh, the Bucks, the Bucks Grinch game finally coming to an end. Man, Roberto Aguayo, he's the reason why we lost this game. When it only been a one point game. After that delay, the weather delay. It's only been a one point game. And wouldn't have been an easy chip shot field goal to win it. But, but no. Oh, we have to get a touchdown. Dirk, why didn't you call a timeout? Why? We wasted time. At like around that 30 second mark, we shouldn't call a timeout. Why did we. Why did we. Not call a timeout? We had two timeouts. We wouldn't have more time for Dink and Dunkin. Dink and Dunk. To get closer to the end zone. It's like why why are we trying to hurry up? We got we got two timeouts. We're still playing time left. Why didn't we use them? But it should not even come, came down to that. Granted, the Rams played the Rams played good. And and we played good. It was a good, it was a, it was a good game. Now, now we're one and two. We got, we got the Broncos next week. And then we got Carolina. We need to have this game. And then, okay, you know, we need to lose the game because of Jameis, okay? But, but what was he thinking at the last play of the game? To just keep running and, like, wobbling. Just throw the ball. No matter if it's not caught or not. Just, just throw the ball in the end zone. I mean, you, you, you really think you're going to run 20, 30 yards? But it should not even come down to that anyways. It should have came down to a chip, chip shot field goal to win, to win the game at the end. But I guess it's just a learning process. This team's still going through. Um... Other than that, Jameis had a great game. Four touchdowns, one pick that wasn't even his fault. Because Charleston dropped it. The defense had their moments, but still gave up too many big plays. That's the main issue with the defense. We're giving up too many over the top big plays. The offense did pretty good. Charles Sims had an over 100 yards rushing. Jameis had four touchdowns. Mike Evans had well over 100 yards for Steven. Aguile. Aguile, you have one job. One job. To kick it. He missed an extra point. And he missed the field goal. They end up being the difference of this game. I don't know. I, I really thought that we want to come out firing this game. And really show our anger. 
after getting a Bears last week. But we didn't have enough. Come back next week. That's all I can say. It's another home game. We've handled lo losing way too long. We gotta stop losing games like this. Today was it unacceptable. We we should have won this game, no problem. But of course, you know I'm not the one that's on the field. Over our hour delay. But I thought we wouldn't have advantage of that, but apparently Dirk didn't know what what the Dirk didn't know what the hell he was doing in that two minute. Like you had over an hour to prepare for this. And we look almost clueless out there. I'm not calling timeouts. There's plenty of time left. Sure, let's just let's just let the clock run down, lose the game. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic. Well, I guess I guess it's time to move on to uh Denver. This fucking this fucking ranch team cannot be They own us. They they own us. We we can on on a while. We can never beat the Rams, never. Well, well, that's that's enough for me. Maya uh, might have a, another bid out tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe. Um. We get him next time. Buck Nation, Buck Die Hard, Texas, Texas Buck, all you, uh, Real Talk Perez, all you Buck YouTube, YouTubers out there, hit me up. We get him next week. Still for, still first place in the division, because uh, Carolina lost today. So I guess that's a good thing to take from this week. We as if we we used to, we had improvements, which is not enough. Dirk, Dirk still getting the graft of being the head coach, um, in the show today. Got a tough opponent next week, but we can get him. We got him. All right, well, that's, that's enough of me rambling on. Rambling on. Peace.